Part A. Directions. In Part A, you will hear short conversations between two people. After each conversation, you will hear a question about the conversation. The conversations and questions will not be repeated. After you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and choose the best answer. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Now we will begin Part A with the first conversation. Number one. John and his brother seem to have a lot to talk about. Well, they haven't seen each other for quite a while. What does the man imply about John and his brother? Number two. I'm tired of sitting at home. How about a movie? Sure. Why not? What does the woman mean? Number three. Is it better to take the bus to Chicago or to go by plane? The bus is a lot cheaper, but it takes at least twice as long. What does the woman mean? Number four. The red one looks better on you than the striped one does. But the collar on the red one is too big and the sleeves are too long. Where does this conversation most probably take place? Number five. I heard Ted ended up in the emergency room this morning. Is everything okay? He's being kept overnight for observation. What does the woman imply? Number six. Let's practice that dance routine some more, Anne, and see if we can get it right this time. Again? We've already tried it six times. What does Anne mean? Number seven. That seafood restaurant we went to last night is the best in town. Isn't it, though? What does the man think about the restaurant? Number eight. Do you want to go to the party? Well, it doesn't start until eight, and I have to get up early tomorrow. What does the man imply? Number nine. Kate wants us to pick her up at the airport at 10.30. Oh, so she did make her connecting flight in Boston. What had the man assumed about Kate? Number 10. I had to wait 50 minutes to see the doctor. I could have told you that would happen. What does the woman mean? Number 11. I have to turn my paper in late. I hope Professor Smith won't be too unhappy. Well, this is the first time you've ever had to ask for an extension, so I don't expect she'll be too hard on you. What does the man think Professor Smith will probably do? Number 12. Ray certainly has been late for class a lot this semester. That's not like him. 
What do we learn from this conversation? Number 13. My history term paper has to be typed. Shouldn't you type your English paper too? What does the man suggest? Number 14. Do you mind if I use your phone? John's calling his mother right now. What can be inferred from the woman's response? Number 15. Did you hear Jane's presentation last night? How she can be so calm in front of such a large audience is beyond me. What does the woman imply? Number 16. I think I'll sign up for the Biology 101 class next semester. Biology 101? You haven't heard what students are saying about it, have you? What does the woman imply? Number 17. Can you tell me when lunch is being served today? The schedule is posted on the door of the cafeteria. What does the woman imply the man should do? Number 18. I think I'll get Alice a pair of gold earrings for graduation. Are you sure she wants earrings? What does the man imply about Alice? Number 19. Say, this dinner is great. Why did you have time to prepare all of this food? I didn't. I had it delivered. What does the woman say about the food? Number 20. Jane's new job has become more than she can handle. I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope it works out for her. What does the man mean? Number 21. Joe really seems happy today. He's quite pleased with the bargain he got on his new car. What does the man mean? Number 22. I'd like to talk to you about the repairs you made to my television. It still isn't fixed. I'd be glad to look at it again if you can bring it back in. What does the man mean? Number 23. I've got to miss class on Thursday. Can you take notes for me? Sure. I'll be there for the whole lecture. What does the man agree to do for the woman? Number 24. Linda is sure doing well in her science class. She'd better be. I've been tutoring her every day. What does the man mean? Number 25.